the next special Digimon set EX03 is out. I adore the Digimon special sets. While there's only been two that have come out previously, that EX02 is one of, or probably the favorite Digimon expansion for the TCG that has come about so far. And EX03 does not disappoint. Interestingly, this set is called Dragon's Raw or Draconic Raw or however you want to kind of translate that, but it focuses on dragons, dragons and dinosaurs and all of my favorite, favorite things about the TCG. This set as well does some interesting things with the colors of the Digimon cards. And if you're an Imperial fan, this set, oh man, I am going to be so happy to get when this comes in English and expanding on my Imperial deck and oh, playing with some of these new cards. Now the tea that I've paired with this, I'm not gonna lie, I was like, I probably should look through my cupboard right at the back and see which teas I have neglected for a while and actually use them up. This is a white tea. I'm drinking this lighter tea today as it is a bit warm outside. It's not hot hot, but... It is warm enough that I've decided I want to have a lighter tea that's a little bit lighter and not so strong. Mm. Because this is a Japanese set, I have bought two boxes and and these do come with these power up dash packs which interestingly come as box toppers for English BT9. Now, the reason why I have two boxes of Japanese cards, basically Japanese boxes are half of an English booster box. So when you buy two, you're basically getting more or less, more or less what a full box will be. So let's open this box first and as always with Japanese booster boxes, there is no like sealed wrapping. There is a singular bit of tape. The fun thing about this set, there is a rare, really rare card to hit. It's a box topper. Now, I don't know the actual odds of this, but there's an Imperial, like an old Imperial Dramon card. It, it's done to look like the classic collection cards. I don't know the full odds. It's something I've heard one in 50, one in 200, one in half a pallet, the same as Ghost Omni. I've heard all sorts of things. Most likely we're not gonna hit it, but we do get these box toppers which is quite fun because the other special sets, I believe, didn't have box stoppers for Japanese. That's what I remember. Nope. See, <laughs> though we did get to this nice Vidramon. That's his name, Vidramon. Yeah, anyway, Palmon, Gabumon, Gammamon, Biomon there. All around him is this very sweet card. And as you notice, a card that is usually blue or green is now yellow, which is a running theme through this set. It's a little bit like Delta Species Pokemon is what I think this set is all about. And then we have our first dragon. Yeah, so get ready for a lot of dragons. That is cute. Look at that. She's so so sweet. Oh, these, <laughs> here we go. Our first Koki artwork. I'll try not to gush over them too much and try and spend too much time over these artworks, but you know how much I love these cards. And he has alternate arts as well in this set. There is actual alternate arts that Koki have done. So that would be really, really nice to hit, please. And thank you. All right, our first rare and our second rare. Because this is a special set, the Japanese packs, Oh, look at that little bread boy. Oh, I love him so much. And look at that Koki artwork. Beautiful colors. Absolutely love it. There are some gorgeous cards that he has done in this set. A very nice Flame Digimon. Basically, a lot of my favorite Digimon are here in this set, and it's really cool to see them again. And what is this? Is that a super rare? Yeah, that's our first super rare. Look at that. Look, look at how cool that looks. Yeah, Aegis Dramon. That is a cool looking artwork. Work. Very, very nice. It's nice to see some of these super rares looking as good as they do, as always. Also, this set revolves around like the God Dragon Pokemon as well Godramon, Holy Dramon, Azulongmon, and that giant Examon Digimon as well. That secret rare is amazing. All right, first rare. And. Our second rare. That's just a rare. Oh, it's an alternate art. No, this is one of our alternate arts. I was like, wait a minute. That texturing and that laminating doesn't feel right. Oh, I got a red card. A big red angry dragon alternate art. That's one way to make me happy. And it's all Dorbikmon. I remember stopping on this card in an older set, wondering where he had come from because I thought he looked sick. Gosh, that is a good looking Digimon, isn't it? Now the texturing, can you just about see that there, here? Yeah, because the whole Digimon fills the frame, 
There's not much texturing that is coming through, but you about see it here. It's like rain. It's like rain, which makes sense because I think he's ra he's raining down fire. Now, if this was a usual Japanese set, the only thing left would be SRs out of this box. But because this is a special set, there is a chance that there's a second alternate art or possibly a secret rare. I am not sure of the odds. Oh, that is nice. Sorry, I got to stop there for a moment. Do like that artwork. Yeah, I'm not sure of the complete odds, but yeah, otherwise, um, <laughs> just got to check. That's an SR, not an alternate art. Yes, you do have a chance to have two alternate arts. Metallic Dramon. This is quite an interesting card. Um, I think if you have a Tamer in play, this gains Reboot and Blocker. Just uh, doing what Black does to stop people from being able to attack you. And you can like de-digivolve as well. So it's like basically, basically a card that is all around all Black's play style. Reboot, Blockers, de-digivolve, quite a nice super rare. Oh, another Koki artwork. I do enjoy all of these cards. They're such good artwork. Oh, there we go. I love this artwork so much. Vimon playing the game. And as red as well. He's red rather than blue or green. So good. I love how they've given these Digimon these other colours than what they usually play. So yeah, it can evolve off of purple as well. So you can have in a red purple deck. It's so, it's so cool. It's really interesting. And a purple Wormon as well. Just to show off. Again, purple and red. Our Imperial decks are going to be so fun. I should be getting at least an SR out of this pack or the one bef or the one after. I think I've only got two packs left. So I should, yeah, if hit ratios are correct, this should be an SR. Yep, yep, there he is. Yes, this is the one. This is the one that comes with the Tamer in its alternate art form. Kenji Watanabe illustrated this card. He's been in the game for a long, long time and his artworks are so, so iconic. All right, box number two, box topper. Come on. You know you want to do it. Give me that Imperial one. I mean, Imperial Dramon, even though the odds of that are so, so low. No. <laughs> we got this green guy here. We'll take it. I mean, these box toppers, that Imperial Dramon is so rare. The odds were not, were not for me, to be honest. This set really does elevate Imperial Dramon to another level. His fighter mode for the secret rare as well. That, that art looks so sick. I, especially the alternate art. He's like strangling <laughs> his other form by the looks of it. And um, threatening, like giving like a crazy glare to like the other Digimon in the art. I really hope I managed to pull it so I can show you all oh, our first super rare. Now this one as well was done by Koki as an alternate artwork and I kind of want to pull it just so I can show you why I'm a bit apprehensive about this card but yeah this this is a very nice a super rare that I don't have to start this off. Agumon coming out of the computer which I think is a reference to one of the games I am pretty sure or a comic strip where he does that. Hmm. My Digimon lore does lack does lack sometimes. Okay what we got here a super rare Oh, a super rare. Look how cool that is. There we go. There's our Digimon from the front of the box. Yeah, there he is. There he is. That is nice to see. Oh, this is an alternate art. This is an alternate art. What alternate art is that? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, look, there we go. There he is. Oh, that is sick. Look at the Digimon at the back. No way. Can you see that? Can you see that? Look at that. Oh, that is cool. Is this Chaos Dramon? Yes, I was right. It is Chaos Dramon. Now, now that is a nice looking alternate art. That, to be honest, I think that looks more sick than the Dorbikmon artwork I pulled. Look at those silhouettes in the background. That is so cool. And the texture, the way it's like flaring around the Digimon to like, oh, I don't know. That is so cool. Oh, I love that art. Oh, I'm happy about that. That is a nice alternate art, Paul. Oh, I just, I love dinosaurs and I love dragons so much. This set just, ah, oh, sings to me. It like gives all the things that I want out of Digimon. All of the things. There's Dorbikmon again. This is another, oh yeah, there we go. Look at that. That is a cool looking SR. Dark Dramon there. Maybe if you play D Brigade, you want to add him to your deck. This, oh, it looks sick. That looks sick. That does look so nice. Oh, I love this set so much. This set makes me so happy. I could not be sad with any of my alternate art hits because they are all dragon or dinosaur Digimon, which 
<laughs> it's just like a tick, a huge tick in my box. Oh, Dino Beam on there. I think that may be the first I've seen of him. Examon again, and what do we have here? Oh, wait, no, it's a double. I mean, it's a double hit box, but <laughs> why, why? <laughs> Like it hit a double of the alternate art I got. Oh, what are the odds of that? What are the odds of that? Oh, well, I mean, it's an extra hit, so I'll take it. You take those extra hits without complaining. But yeah, that is sad that that extra hit wasn't something that I hadn't hit before. Yeah, in only two boxes. All right, last pack. Oh, that's nice to finish off on a Zulamon and the dragon aeroplane to be honest i don't know his name but yeah it's an aeroplane or a jet fighter but, but a dragon so that's ex03 it'll be interesting to see how this is translated into english whether our boxes will be like a guaranteed two hits and then maybe a third and then maybe we'll have those box toppers with that chance with that really rare imperial dramon like done in the classic style. What is nice about this set as well is that I think there's only 18 alternate arts versus the 30 that usually happen in special sets. EX01 had 30 alternate arts and so did EX02. This just has 18, which is if you want to master set it, is a li little bit more manageable than 30 alternate arts, which can rack up in price quite quickly if you're trying to get them all which is, that's the state I'm at at the moment with EXO2, which is, it's a marathon, right? I've still got a ways to go to Master Set EXO2. I'm collecting and picking up slowly my cards one at a time.